What's good, YouTube, man? We back with another NBA 2K25 video, man, about a thumbnail and a title. I know why y'all here, man. Y'all playing NBA 2K25. Y'all lurking. Y'all trying to find the best 610 build, man. I got y'all with the best 610 build. This is something that I would play with. And if you've been subscribing, subscribing, subscribing to me for a long time, you know, bro. Um, I play all kind of builds every 2K. I literally have 8 to to 12 bills like i'm happy they even added the extra 15 bills on this game man but we're gonna go in and we're gonna go with the 610 small four lowest weight my fault y'all 610 small four you gotta go lowest weight this is something that i would play with y'all so if i would play with it and y'all been following me for a long time then y'all know that you know what i'm saying like it's something that i'm willing to to play with off the rip this is what i would do if i if i made a 610 bill and if y'all like the 610 build, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, share this to a friend that also want a 610 KD or a Giannis or a Wambi build, man. But let's get into it. Me personally, I like longer wingspan on all my builds, bro. I really don't like shorter wingspan. Um, and that's just a preference. If you don't like it, you can, you know what I'm saying? You can go and find, you know, a YouTuber that did shortest wingspan. But me, I'm not going longest wingspan. I'm going two wingspans down due to the simple fact how I think 79 compared to 80 is literally one attribute off. That one extra attribute ain't going to help you shoot better, man. It's not. And I'd rather go at, as long as I could with my wingspan. So going down two is as far as I'm going to go with my 610. Don't tell y'all this now. I had a 610 on 24. I had two 610s on 24, actually, and they both was tough. Um, like ISO tough. I was able to ISO tough. Um, and I had 16s way before. Uh, I had one on 22. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I have so many bills every year. It don't make no sense, bro. Like, and all the two Ks I have played, bro, since 16, bro, I probably had around 50 bills. 50 bills, cause 19 I had a lot of bills. 20 I had a lot of bills. 21. I play current and next gen. You got to think about that. I play current and I play current and next gen. Um, enough talking though, man. We're gonna jump straight into the bills. I just want y'all to know y'all not watching somebody or getting this from somebody you don't know, right? What they doing? Off the rip, you got to know how to tweak, right? I'm about to try to tweak this the best as I can. Yeah, and I'm gonna tell y'all why I reset it, right? Once you go up, and if you go to 86, right? They give you an extra attribute. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all how you got to tweak. You got to pay attention to what 2K do. Right? Let's go stop right at 85. Right? 85. 86. They added a plus one on post control, plus one on coach shot, and plus one on free throw. And you don't get nothing for going with the, with the 86. You don't get nothing for going with the 86. Well, badge-wise. All you get is silver for both. I'm about to show you what I'm saying. So y'all don't be confused here even if i go up to 86 yes it give me a better attribute but like i said again that plus one isn't going to help you shoot better bro it's really going to depend on your jump shot and did i it don't go to gold it don't drop down this is the sweet spot for it to stay at silver even if you go up it's still going to be silver so you're saving attribute stats and you're saving you know what i'm saying a cap and your your shot is basically a 70 once you get takeover you get plus one then you got all the the cap breakers in the game now and you got all the the uh the, the stuff when you hit level 40 the the badge extenders like you got so much to make your player better than what he already is right so don't don't let that disguise y'all it's, it's only one attribute down now one thing that i do know with 16 is bro you want to be as fast as possible you want to make sure you got the most speed and the most agility that you can get on a 16. 82, 78 is the highest you can get. And you want to make sure you got the fastest ball handling, the highest ball handling, and the highest speed of ball you can get. Right? If you really want to get crazy, you really can go 70. Because stats kind of be like, I'm about to give you an example of what I'm saying. This is this is a, a, a 2K player mindset. There is no dribble moves that... It's in between 75 and 80. Like, it ain't going to be a dribble that say, it might be, but it might not be something you use. 
it's not going to be a good drill move that say, oh, you need a, a 76 to get this. It might, but it's a better chance that it might say 75 or 80. So you really just adding extra attributes at that point when you go with that. So let's reset one more time just so we can get that right, right? So because you know they're going to add extra attributes. You got to make sure you finesse. You're going to go 75 and you're going to go 70 with the three so they don't add extra attributes. You're going to go max three gonna go 85 so they don't add any more attributes you're gonna go the highest speed you can get because speed matters when you're on a 16 bro you gotta be fast bro you have to be fast this is this is this is looking more you know looking more right right this is an iso 16 right it's an iso 16 so you're not really grabbing rebounds or doing anything like that but at, by the time you get done with this build you might be able to now i'm not gonna lie if you really want to go crazy, bro, you really can go a higher dunk. But I'm going to go with 90 for this build. 60 standing dunk. That's looking good so far. He's still at 84. Uh, you want to make sure you have perimeter. Just challenger. So you got to have an 82 for challenger. Having challenger really, really matters in this game. So we're going to go with the challenger. And you're going to go with the interior. We're going to go with the interior, which will be... Okay, this is how we going to do this, right? You got to pay attention. You need a, to get this bronze. You need 60 interior and a 70 block. So what we're going to do is we'll go back to 60 and go go to 74 block. Just so we can get that bronze, right? Now that we got that bronze, if we want to go with higher stats, we can. But let's try to tweak something else real quick. See? So now that you automatically put your steel up to get... Can you get glove? Okay, now you have glove. You have interior. You have... Okay, let's go 75 bird. Now you got silver posterizer. And you low-key can get gold posterized on this build. You low-key can tweak it out, right? It's always best to go more defensive rebounding than offensive rebounding because everybody's going to go higher defensive rebounding. Like, they're they not going to give you every offensive rebound anyway. So it's best to go offensive rebound, if anything, if you do want to snag. If you do want to grab boards, if you don't, you can drop this back down to where it was at. This is how you can tell. When you drop this right here and see if anything changed with changes boom agility boom put that back up that's as far as it go if you don't want to keep if you do want to snag which you still might be able to get a board probably not crazy but you still might be able to get a board with this with this 60 but this 63 because you 610 and you have uh bronze but if y'all want to snag if you want to get crazy with this build you low key can go that 93 and you low key can go that 85 right you low key can go that 80 and get the gold posterizer gold posterizer now you still at 95 you really can tweak this build out even more and make it crazier than it already is you can go rebounding but like i said this is an iso build you only add 95 one of the last options to choose that i would choose from is pass accuracy or a defensive rebound these is your last two if you want to be iso iso all the way go pass accuracy but if you want to be being able to snag Run, just run the ball up the court. This would be your best option. Going 86. Now, you're able to rebound. You got the fastest agility. You got vert because you get posterizer. You got high, which we're going to go 85 and 60 for this. Okay, can we drop this lower? No, we're going to go 85 because, like I said, from the from the MIDI, 86 don't really give you no extra badges. So, we're going to tweak that out and leave that right there. Right? Boom. Now you low key kind of all around and you only at a 96, right? Gold diver. What can't you do? This is the legit Wimby I'm a bill, bro. What can't you do? Go two shots on this build gonna be crazy. You feel what I'm saying? What can't you do? 610. 610 bro high midi so you get the good jump shots look at him he don't even look like his arms is small two-way three level scoring threat 610 and he don't even got the short he don't even got short wingspan he don't even got short wingspan chat and it's only one off of 80 it's only one off of 80 it's not gonna make a big of a difference bro and he gonna be fast. He got a lot of agility, a lot of speed. He's not gonna be that slow. 
that's a good build, chat, man. So if y'all like that build, man, make sure y'all comment down below. You know what I'm saying? If you like that 610 and share it to y'all friends, let me know what y'all think about it. And that's going to be the end of the video, man. We out.